What is going on, 5-9 gamers? My name is Vilify, and today we are going to be doing a different type of list, and today's list is going to be the most anticipated EZAs over here on Dokkan Battle. Now, there is a decent bit of EZAs that we you know we're kind of expecting to see within the next like year or two, I'd say, and I just want to kind of go over some of the most anticipated ones within the community, at least the ones that I see a lot, and you know, ones that are really going to be exciting overall. So, let's go ahead and uh, hop right into this list. So, at, this is in no specific order, but coming in at number one, we have AGL Super Saiyan Gohan from the 300 million download celebration, I believe it was. Now, this guy has a lot of different um, mechanics and like stuff that we can do to make him real good easily. So he's got raises defense on both of his super attacks in his Super Saiyan 1 form. And, you know, you, you know anything about this Gohan, he is a stacky boy. He, you know, he's always getting... Um, What's the word? Like, he's just always raising his defense. You know, you're at turn 10, you're at 700,000 defense or whatever. And maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration. But, you know, maybe what, a couple things that we could do is maybe do greatly raise his uh, defense or we do raise his attack and defense on both of his supers. And then we kind of give him, like, damage reduction or something in his passive skill and we can go ahead and make him good. Now, I know uh, one thing that a lot of people want is a, a active skill change, but I don't know if they're going to go ahead and do that for this specific unit as that would... I believe it will require a game update in order to fix this active skill condition, and this is something that they haven't really done uh, often with like just manually changing conditions. Now, transformation conditions have been changed, but active skill conditions have not been. So, like I said, number ten, we got super. Or number one, we have Super Saiyan Gohan from the Cell games. Let's go ahead and move on to number two. Now, this is Physical Super Vegito. Uh, he came out in October of 2017, so it is uh, about time, I'd say. He's coming up on being five years old, so I think his EZA uh, is, you know, hopefully sooner rather than later. Uh, I think what, what would kind of really make him good is if we just get damage reduction on all attacks rather than just uh, normal attacks. That way he can take a super. Uh, maybe raise attack and defense, or, uh, you know, maybe raise allies attack and defense by 30% for one turn. Just make him usable in slot one, and I think this guy could be really good. Make him a 170 across the board for Majin Buu Saga, maybe even 180 as I'm looking at this kit. You know, he has a very good link set, decent categories, and, and all that fun stuff. But, you know, like I said, he's got an additional attack, plus 10, up to 100% with the attack received. So maybe we could do attack and defense, maybe key with each attack received. Maybe give him guard or something, I don't know. Like I said, he already has 50% damage reduction, so he probably doesn't need the guard, but... Uh, you know, just a couple different things that you could potentially do and make him good. Like I said, these are just like really quick concepts. I'm not going too in-depth, but yeah. So number two, we have a Super Vegito. Let's go ahead and move on to number three. Now, this one is one that people are very excited for, and we thought for sure we were going to get it during Worldwide in 2021, but this is Namek Goku from 2019. Now, STR Namek Goku is one of those units that, you know, could be really good, and it would be very simple uh, if they gave him guard in his base form, if... You know, the guard was constant in his Super Saiyan form, it wasn't up to chance. Uh, he raised attack and defense on his super attack. Uh, you know, he has a decent leader skill. He's a Super Saiyan and Namek Saga lead, but Planet Namek Saga and Super Saiyan have, like, kind of been updated in terms of the leads. Uh, his link skill is okay. Having Z Fighters isn't the best, but, you know, he does have All in the Family, Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Shocking Speed, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. So Z Fighters is really the only link that's kind of eh. But this guy is on a ton of categories. If I count, we've got well over 10 uh, I don't, you know, it's, it's something like 15 to 16, I think, just by looking at it. I could be off, but I'm just doing like a quick, quick spitball on that, just looking at the list. But there are a ton of categories and teams that could use the help, right? Saviors, Connected Hope, uh, you know, maybe Miraculous Awakening, Legendary Existence, uh, Battle of Fate could use a little bit of help. Planet Namek Saga could always use the help. Uh, what else is in here? Final Trump Card, Exploding Rage. Like, there's just so many teams here that could use the help. And I think if, you know, Super Saiyan Goku, if the guard was constant... And he raised attack and defense on his super attack. I think that would be really good. But like I said, I'm just kind of spitballing these concepts just to kind of go over what they could potentially do to make them really good. So that was number three. Let's go ahead and move into number four. Now, this is the first LR on the list, and this is Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Now, this guy's kit is just so, so old. And uh, defense set minus 70% on 18 key. That's the first thing that's got to go. Uh, he's always been a really good damage unit. That hasn't really changed over time. You know, he's uh, he's just got a lot of stuff going on. Maybe, you know, if we get raised attack and defense on both of his super attacks, uh, maybe something to do with, like, facing a movie boss's enemy or a giant form enemy, which isn't very common, but, you know, we get some kind of buff or, uh, you know, maybe... I would just say if you just get rid of the defense minus 70% when performing the 18 key, that's, like, the first thing I would start with. And then we can kind of build it off from there and see how it would go. Uh, this guy could be really good, and this is one that we've been expecting for a while. Maybe if we get, like, um, 
another type of movie celebration, this guy could maybe sneak into a celebration. Because, you know, I don't think they would release a new Dragon Fist Goku and then easy a Dragon Fist Goku, so I feel like he would have to come before the Dokkan Fest comes. Uh, I don't know, because, you know, this guy is, like, Super Saiyan 3 Goku is not done getting updates. Like, this, this scene is iconic, right? So... Uh, he is definitely going to get something in the future. It's just wh whether or not it's the EZA or the Dokkan Fest first, that's up to uh, that's up to them, right? So, that was our number four spot. Let's go ahead and move into number five. So, at number five, we have Tech Super Saiyan 4 Full Power Goku. Now, this guy just is interesting, right? Uh, we've got a medium chance to counter. We have attack and defense up to 70%. The more HP, he's like better. The more HP, the better uh, defense or, uh, you know, stats he has. But it's only 70%, and that is like kind of so dated. Um, like 70% buffs is just is not going to do it. His super attack has no raising. It's only immense damage and massively lowering defense. Lowering defense to 2022 just is not cutting it, you know, because all these bosses have damage reduction and whatnot. So, you know, massively lowering defense just is not enough in today's day and age. But this guy is just, he's going to fit so well on the GT Hero team, the Beyond Super Saiyan team. He's just, he's, you know, with this link set, you know, he has Super Saiyan, Saiyan Roar, Prepare for Battle, Shocking Speed, Saiyan Lineage, GT, and Fierce Battle. That is a really, really, really good GT unit link set. So if we just kind of made the attack and defense buff uh, per, like, more HP remaining, if you want to make that, like, more like 150 to 180, uh, and then, you know, the, maybe make the medium chance a high chance to counter, uh, I think this unit could be really, really good if you, you know, it's, it's a lot. You have to rework, but, you know, it's simple stuff with this guy, and all of a sudden he is a god. So this is another one of those units like Namek Goku. He is just on so many categories, right? Like, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, or ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen categories. So, you know, a buff to sixteen teams for an easy A, I would definitely say that makes him very anticipated. So, let's go ahead and move on to number six. And this is full, uh, Super Saiyan Broly from Dragon Ball Super Broly. So if Broly's on here, you can go ahead and get, you could probably assume who's going to be next up on the list. But uh, this movie bosses in full power league could do a lot if maybe he greatly raised attack and defense for one turn. Supreme damage on the AOE. Uh, you know, the passive skill, there's not really anything going on here. He just has a lot of key attack and defense there. You know, maybe they could do something against like a pure Saiyan or he gets kind of like the LR Broly effect where he gets damage reduction or effective against all types against pure hybrid Saiyans or something. And, you know, this guy could end up looking really, really good. And he has a very good active or, uh, transformation condition as well because it's just four turns, right? So uh, his yeah, so starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle, right? So, you know, he all of a sudden, you know, he's got attack of plus 188. So maybe it could be like attack plus 200 and defense plus 150 and launches an additional attack that has a ch high chance to become a super. Or, yeah, so maybe he has like a guaranteed additional super. Uh, he raises attack and defense on his uh, super attack and stuff like that. And this guy could be looking really good. The movie bosses could use the help. The Super Saiyan team could use the help. Like, all of, like, these, this guy would just be super, super good. Because, you know, he's old. Uh, but, you know, he's, he's coming up on being almost, um, what is it, four years old on the Japanese side. So, it's exciting stuff. But I think he could end up being really, really good. Uh, you know, this Broly is definitely, definitely an exciting kind of uh, prospect, right? So, uh, you know, we talked about Super Saiyan Broly. So, who else would to go transition to then Super Saiyan Gogeta from the same movie? Now, super attack, if we just greatly raise the attack and defense for one turn and cause the immense damage, I think that's fine. Maybe lower defense or something like that if you want to get freaky. And then, as fa he's already effective against all types. Let's make that attack and defense plus 150. Uh, medium chance of evading enemies attack. Let's make that a high chance. And then, after the fifth turn from the start of battle, he transforms. So, the pieces are all there with this Gogeta Blue to be super, super good. And if we get, like, greatly raises attack and defense for three turns with immense damage, and then we have a uh, high chance of, so like, what is it? I think a great chance is higher, right? So we'd want, like, a 70% chance to evade the enemy's attack, as well as, like, because I mean, he's already got guaranteed crits and stuff like that. I, I really think defensively this unit could be super, super good. And, uh, you know, if we just give him, like, greatly raises attack and defense on that super attack, like, all of a sudden this guy could become a tank that's effective against all types, doing guaranteed crits. This guy could end up being an absolute monster with a, the right easy A. So, let's go ahead and move into our next unit, and that is our boy Int Cell from the 300 million download celebration. Now, this guy already is almost kind of usable in 2022, but, you know, if we could fix a couple things, maybe give him some defensive raising on his super attacks and stuff like that, you know, this guy could be really, really good. Because, you know, his, his active skill or his uh, transformation condition is really clutch in areas like Super Battle Road. This guy is still a decent Super Battle Road option for the teams that he is on. And again, like we were saying with like the Gohan and the Namek Goku and the Super Full Power, whatever, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. This guy is on a ton of teams that need the help. Resurrected Warriors, Full Power, Androids, uh, Time Travelers, Artificial Life Forms. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Target Goku, Revenge, Power 
power absorption. There's just so many teams here that this guy could be super, super nice on. And considering the AGL cell is super, super good, and the physical cell got an easy A, and these guys are amazing. Um, you know, this guy, when he gets his buffs from, like, a regular easy A concept, I think he could be super, super good. And he's already, like, if you get, like, the seven orbs or whatever, or the eight orbs or more, like, this guy's hitting for, like, seven, eight, eight, nine million attack at the 100% level, so... You know, maybe if we had a way to raise his uh, defense on super and stuff like that and, you know, having all that I think is really the way to go because greatly raise attack and defense on the 18 key and base. Maybe you raise attack and defense in the perfect, uh, like, you know, perfect cells, what they call them. So, you know, I, I think this guy could be really, really good. And, uh, you know, more cell help, the better, just because, you know, we have gotten some really good cell updates with the physical cell EZA as well as the Dokkan Fest. That's a 200% lead that came out this year in Golden Week. So, let's go ahead and move on to our next uh, EZA concept, and these guys, I guess we'll just cover at the same time. Uh, number 9 and 10 are the 5-year LRs. Now, the 5-year LRs, as you guys know, are some of the more anticipated EZAs. I think, honestly, these EZAs might be the most fun ones ever, because if they're super, super good, their animations are amazing. And, you know, any excuse to use these guys like this would be, all, like, just so awesome, right? If we had raise attack and defense on both their supers, you know, with them, Vegito always getting the additionals and like quad supering when he's in blue, you know, Gogeta being super effective against all types and hitting for like 10 million or whatever and also getting defense. Uh, maybe rather than being turn three, they get the dodge chance no matter where they are. Uh, you know, the extra key when you have them in certain slots. I think these guys could just be super, super well done. And when they do get their ECAs, which, you know, we're thinking is the eight year, but you never know. Uh, you know, these could be two of the best units in the game. And I think. I speak for everybody when I say I'm very, very, very excited for the five years to get their EZAs. Uh, I say these are kind of like maybe the most unrealistic EZAs of the list because they came out in 2020 and considering, you know, Vegeta, uh, Physical Super Vegito came out in 2017, it still doesn't have one, but hey, uh, you know, we didn't expect uh, the four years to get an EZA during the seven year, but look, we ended up getting that, so, you know, maybe we'll get lucky and the blue, the blue boys will EZA during the eight year anniversary and that would make things really, really fun. Uh, I think these two are, like, as I said, their animations are still really, really nice. Like, you know, you can put them in A to S tier still. So, uh, those are 10 easy A's that I think the community, as well as myself, are really anticipating. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if I missed anybody or, you know, there's somebody else. That, I only wanted to do 10. So, like I said, let me know down below what you think. Uh, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new and make sure you turn on notifications so you do not miss out when we post all this fire over here on the 5 Dine mobile channel. My name has been Vilify. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. I'm signing out.